Back in Miami, the Erickson Open. In the third set, Sampras up 2 1 on serve. Gustavo Kirton of Brazil serves the opening point of his service game here. 15 love. And that's the part of uh, Gustavo's game that's really got to come around as these sets in this match progresses. It really hasn't been a factor so far, except for a couple of times. Oh. Long on the return. 30, 30 love, Kirton. Gustavo only serving five aces in this match. First serve percentage, 51%. And he can clock him. I mean, Gustavo can get in a get in a groove where he's serving ace after ace. Yeah. Oh, a little <laughs> seven ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well executed. Love. The French Open champion. Forty <laughs> love. A little bit of a statement there too. Do you think, Luke? Well, that he's mixing it up, and he does have the ability. <laughs> he plays Davis Cup doubles. He and plays some doubles in some tour events. Finishing it off with an ace. And Sampras style, ace on. number six. Two mm -hmm. different kinds of action on the strings from these guys, Luke. Yeah, their equipment's a little bit different. Pete Sampras, this is the behind the scenes with Jay Schwade and his stringing team. These are Gustavo's rackets this morning. He had three strung up. Look at the team. They, they're in the dungeon. They never get to see the light of day. Look at all the strings going at it. Now, Gustavo strings his rackets with a Less. synthetic Cursor. string. At 57 pounds, so very loose for the pros. Whereas Pete Sampras, on the other hand, strings natural gut at 75 pounds. So the the tightness, the the reason the rackets are so tight is to give Pete a little bit more control. And Gustavo, the loose strings are like a trampoline to give himself a little bit more pop. That cord well played by Sampras. There's the lob, and he's up for it. So two different types of. Thinking 15 love. from Sampras and Kirton according to the, the rackets they use, the kinds of strings and the tensions. <laughs> 15 love, Sampras. Kirton at 63165. I guess he is looking for a little more muscle to come from his racket. It's great the technology these days. We talk about the power from these rackets compared to the old wood rackets. And Gustavo is a guy who tries to maximize the power he can get from his strings, his string tension, and that graphite stick he's using. Dirty Love Sampras. Let. First serve. Pete Sampras, 133 long. Like Pete Sampras, on the other hand, uses a very heavy racket, puts a lot of lead tape on it, one of the heavier rackets. Played out there. Philippus is another guy. He strings his rackets really tight. 80 pounds. That would just ruin your arm and shoulder, Tim. I'm telling you, you try to hit with that, it's like hitting with a brick wall. Philippus is the highest, Luke? Yeah, at 80 pounds. Yeah. That's right. Looks like an elephant gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Wielded by him, at least. There's that wide serve that's been effective the entire match. Only a level. couple times Guga has sat on it. But this is the big advantage for Pete Sampras, to have that huge gun in that first and second serve where he can be down and stay in the match with the serve, where he doesn't have to play long points like Courier or Agassi and Shang. Oh, yes. High Sampras. volley from Sampras, a love game. New and he is up 3-2 on serve here in the third set. They have a set apiece. Well, last weekend at the Erickson Open, we have a Hall of Fame celebrating the 16-year history. And Andre Agassi has won this tournament many times. He went in. And Steffi Graf. Is it a coincidence? Who knows? There's Butch Buckholz, the founder of this event with his brother, Cliff Buckholz. They went into the Hall of Fame, too. Another way the tennis is being brought back to the fan here at the Erickson Open. Oh. We love the team. Loss of characters. You can see miss, miss backhand, but in that Erickson Expo, you had a chance to vote for next year's Hall of Fame inductees. Everyone got the punch at Lendl, Sabatini, Everett. Great addition to the tournament. Another take there from the Brazilian. 
15 all. 15 all. Well, that is the Achilles heel for Pete Sampras. That's why he has so much trouble on clay where the ball bounces nice and high. Guys will kick serves high to the backhand of Pete Sampras. Pete doesn't put enough juice on it. The ball lands short. And then guys can run around, use forehands, and dictate from there. Uh, too good for Sampras. Well, Sampras busted to get over to the backhand side and slid. 15 30. His backhand pass cross court nice and low, and Google couldn't handle the volley. But see how the racket's high, and then he nice underneath the ball, keeping the ball nice and low. 15 30. <laughs> Door open a crack here for Sampras. On serve. Well, that one got the lines person right on Tagged the noggin. Him. That's right. Yeah. For this ground. That's long from Sampras. We said, it, we said at the top of the show Dirty that off. Gustavo Quartin is a counterpuncher, but from the ground, he likes to dictate on his own terms. He likes to be patient when he gets a ball he likes, then he will explode. He seems to be doing this towards the end of the second and throughout his service games in the third, whereas Pete Sampras is the one running around now on the baseline. Lens. First serve. Kierkegaard a 2 3 on serve here in the third set. Sampras won the first. Kierkegaard won a tie break in the second. Good serve. Sampras was there, couldn't deliver. He's unhappy with himself. Well, pistol busted right once 40, again. 30. Going to the open court. Giving Guga that down line forehand. He just couldn't make the pass. 40 30, point from three all. Game curtain. And an ace, number seven for Curtin. Three games all. Match all even again. Career titles in the open era. Jimmy Connors well on top, but look at uh, Pete Sampras here closing in on Vilas and Borg. A victory here today would tie him with those two greats in fourth place for career number of titles won. Good save from Sampras. Uh, sir, good right save from Sampras. Deep and pulling Kirton wide. Yeah, sliding that ball out wide. Moving his opponent off the court. It's whoever's going to, who can control the middle of the court with your serve and your ground strokes and push your balls out wide to the sideline. Make your opponent move. And stretch. Uh, Sampras checking the sun. It's slanting in now. You're serving from that end. You're looking right into it, but it will soon drop below the top of the stadium. We're approaching five o'clock Eastern time. You moved your clock ahead, right? Yes, I okay, did. That's yes, good. otherwise that's good. I wouldn't be sitting here with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, at least not the first day. <laughs> right. Forty love. Forty love, Sampras. Now, do you wait till two in the morning and then wake yourself up to <laughs> then advance the time or I get like wake up calls from all different time zones. <laughs> oh. A Forty, call number five for Pete Sampras. But Pete Stamper still stay hanging steady with 30 winners compared to 22 unforced errors. We're going to watch that stat. Whereas Gustavo Kerton having a great stat. 30 winners compared to only nine unforced errors. Oh, that's great. He's had three of those in this match. Maybe the toughest shot in the game of tennis to hit. A running one-hand backhand top spin lob. 40 30. Maybe your forehand, your forearm isn't strong that way. And you have to run to get it, get under in the, underneath the ball, get the leverage, and hit the top. And make sure it's high enough so you don't have that sky shot coming That's back right. from Zampers. 40 30. Watch Guga on his toes now. Good body language. Double fault in the break. Deuce. 
Now back to Deuce, pardon me. Deuce. Campers, two double faults in this game, six in the match. Mentally, it just kills you when you're up 40 love in the game, and all of a sudden you're back at Deuce and you're in a dogfight to hold your serve. Six double faults now for the match for Pete Sampras. 16 aces. Uh, 17. Bad Sampras. <laughs> Sorry, Pete. Didn't mean to get, you know, get out in front of you. So often when he needs it, he's got it. a bit of a struggle. Four games to three on serve in the third set. A set apiece in this championship match as we look live down on world-famous South Beach in Miami.